summer temperatures are here, and that means be prepared. Hello, I'm Deborah Cedillo Dugan, and welcome to another City Update. It's hot, but Phoenix is gearing up for the summer heat with the World Cool Heat Relief Campaign to help the homeless, seniors, and disabled beat the hot summer sun. Joining us today is Marcelle Franklin. She's the director for the Human Services Department and Fire Captain Jake Van Hook to explain the importance of staying hydrated this summer and every day here in the Valley, right? Thank you for both for joining Thank us you. today. Captain, let's start with you about the importance of staying hydrated. Uh, I mean, we're talking, you know, drink, drink, drink as much as you can during the day. Right, and the, the central message is to make sure that you start hydrating before you feel that internal need to drink something. So our bodies are constantly in flux. You know that we're mostly made up of water, but out here in our arid desert temperatures, we kind of have to be proactive. We really can't wait until that point where we're feeling exhausted or we're feeling that thirst. We really have to kind of anticipate that it's going to happen just based on the fact of where we live and the temperatures that we reach during the day that we just need to stay hydrated. We need to kind of preemptively start drinking water in the morning and kind of keep continuing that throughout the day. Especially if you work out. I mean, you work out, you hike, you walk, you, you, whatever you're doing, it's also the, the day prior. You need to make sure you have lots of fluids in before you do that exercise the next day as well. That's a really good point. Yeah, if you know you're going to be outside for some sort of strenuous activity, it's a great idea to prehydrate the day before and kind of continue that through your activity. And it really is really not that difficult to do that either, too. I mean, because there's, you know, with the camel packs and the water bottles, it's just like constantly here. I'm just accustomed to throwing water bottles in my bag, just always having it. Right. Yeah, no, that's a great point is that we just need to make sure that we're prepared. It's really a matter of anticipating, you know, what we're going to be doing, where we're going to be, whether or not we'll have um, easy access to water. And like you say, kind of plan ahead and make sure that uh, you're mm -hmm. carrying something that allows you to, to stay hydrated. And of course the city, and this is where we're tag teaming, of course the Human Services Department with this new campaign and these heat relief stations that, uh, that we are sponsoring uh, with, other, with other folks as well. Marshall, can you talk, talk a little bit about that? Sure, so throughout the city of Phoenix, we will have hydration and cooling stations available for individuals who may wanna come in, first of all, to grab a bottle of water as well as be able to sit and cool down. It's vitally important for individuals, as our captain said, to be able to have access to water. Sometimes they don't bottle water. Uh, but we as a city, along with community partners such as the Salvation Army and others, really recognize the benefit that in this summer heat, we have to do what community does, and that's come together and make sure that we're looking out for each other, and in particular that we're looking out for our vulnerable populations, Absolutely. if you will. So those individuals who uh, may be elderly, um, the homeless individuals um, that are in our community, as well as our children. Right, and people who have chronic illnesses too. Sometimes Correct. we forget about that mm -hmm. too. That mm -hmm. you know, they just are, are doing their thing, and, it's, and that's also a good time too. You should check on neighbors too. Correct. That might be you know their air conditioning you know Correct. stopped or. So how can the community help? The best way the community can help is to go to phoenix.gov forward slash heat, where there'll be uh, suggestions on how our community can best help. Excellent, excellent. And Captain, I know you know Phoenix Fire is out there assisting, uh, you know, year long for for all of it, our entire community, but especially during these summer months, too. You guys are assisting as well. That's absolutely right. Yeah, we we encounter people in various states of uh, kind of heat related illness. That's how we look at it, and it's everything from heat cramps where you kind of have that initial fatigue, you have some, some cramping as it suggests in the abdomen, legs, arms, things like that. Um, and, and it can go all the way to the very dangerous heat stroke where people aren't even sweating anymore. Their body has, has stopped that process. They're in a serious medical emergency. Uh, and, and those are times where uh, we definitely have to intervene with kind of life-saving measures, that sort of thing. So it is a really important thing to talk about. It's not just comfort level out while we're being active or, or moving about in the city. This is really about making sure that people take care of themselves so that they don't get into those emergency situations. Absolutely, and just being safe overall. And I'm so glad that you shared some of the symptoms of heat-related stroke or just being, you know, just the overheated and whatnot. Uh, very, very key. And of course, if you're biking, hiking, walking, letting a family member or somebody know your route and where you're going to make sure that you're safe as well. Absolutely, that's a huge piece of it because that just layers on the protection. Really, that's what we talk about is making sure that we're layering on protection we're, we're making wise choices about what we're doing while it's hot outside, how prepared we are by uh, making sure that we have water as we're talking about today, but also as you mentioned, 
just making sure that the people around us, if we have that ability, know where we're at, know what we're doing. Absolutely. And Marshall, this is this is a uh, this campaign is a cohesive campaign, not only with the city of Phoenix, but we have some partners as well. Yes, we do. We have several community partners, as I mentioned before. Salvation Army uh, really continues to step up and assist. You know, that's within their valley with the Red Cross, other organizations like that that we work very closely with to ensure again that during our hot summer months that we're doing all that we can do within our community uh, to make sure we stay hydrated. But in particular, really our focus from a human services perspective is to make sure we're really focusing uh, on those most vulnerable in our community. So again, our seniors, the elderly, um, individuals in our community are homeless, and especially our children. Sometimes we forget um, that we need to make sure we're hydrating our children as well. Of course. Uh, on their way to schools, you know, out playing, I mean, for a whole host of things that they can be doing. So that's really our focus is to make sure, in particular, our vulnerable populations, that we're really focused on making sure they're safe. Absolutely, and that's a whole other story too about being safe with your pets and your animals mm -hmm. and, and, and mm -hmm. children and being left in cars and, mm -hmm. and whatnot too. Mm -hmm. So um, absolutely, well thank you so much both thank of you. you. I know this is a wonderful campaign uh, to just an, an awareness to make sure to watch out for each other and, um, and to stay hydrated and to wear sunscreen. Yes. and a hat and some basic <laughs> things for the you know come on folks we live here we know how what the sun does to us so uh, thanks again uh, captain for joining us Marshall thank, thank you so you. much for joining us today appreciate thank it you. my pleasure now if you'd like to contribute to the we're cool campaign donations for water bottles or you'd like to give monetarily you can go to phoenix.gov forward slash heat all the details are there including maps of the 45 locations for city update I'm Deborah Sadio Dugan